Morning, hi, it's Jim, it's Friday. And what has arrived today? New Opeth. Dignity. Um, or, if you want to go Swedish, Sveket's Prins. Um, I've kind of got both, and I don't know which one to go with. Uh, so, I suspect, because I probably want to hear a little bit of what's going on, I'll probably go for the English version. Uh, but the Swedish one has got a, um, a bit of a video thing going with it, so I might use the audio from one and the visuals from the other on this video. and see where we go from there. If I don't, then you know it doesn't work. Anyway, <sighs> exciting. What, a, what an amazing time. Uh, so a new tool, new Opeth, had new Devon Townsend earlier in the year. Uh, there's, there's, there's just so much stuff going on. It's brilliant. Absolutely love it. Let's go. Three, two, one. Dignity. Ooh.
Wow. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to say. What has what has Opeth become? They have I absolutely uh, they have grown in, in an incredible way. Um to think of where they where they were. I mean, obviously in the last song that uh, they released which was uh, Heart in Hand. Um that was becoming. Uh, I think I said at the time, so it had a lot of sort of almost like sort of deep purple, rainbow uh, type uh, sort of uh, things going on, and this did as well. Um, this is so progressive. Um, it has moved hugely away from some of the sort of really, really heavy prog metal things they were doing sort of uh, ten years ago. Um, and this is, is this their thirteenth album or something? They've, they've they have grown and evolved and developed and matured massively. And what I love about this, um, and in in bands that you can see this sort of evolution, this 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 uh, change of or growing of the sound, is there is. I don't know. So, sort of like, it, there is room and space for growth within what what they want to do. It's not one dimensional. Um, and if and I know a lot of people just want the same the band to do the same stuff over and over and over and over again. But you kind of you don't need to. They've, you've already got that. You've got that in your in your back catalogue as part of your canon. And so when you're playing playing live, like Opeth did at um, the Red Rocks uh, that release they brought out. They did Deliverance on there, and they did some of these sort of really, really aggressive, hard songs on there, and they can still do it. And there's no reason why they shouldn't still be doing that live. But if they don't want to do that as they're sort of as they're going forward and what they're writing and, and what they want to, um, what feels right for them, then there's no reason why they should. And I, I for one, just think this is astonishing. This is beautiful, beautiful songwriting. Um, and it's as, as, I don't know, I keep saying mature, it's a, it's a really sort of grown up, mature, um, epic, epic sound. They've really grown into something which is, is quite, it's quite special. I mean, and they've always, always have been special. And it is obviously, uh, I'm saying this is a sort of a bit of a newcomer having sort of only been listening to them really for 18 months, um. But from what I've heard from a lot of their earlier stuff, uh, so you can hear this evolution, this this change in style. And obviously, there was a sort of a bit of a Stephen influence, uh, Stephen Wilson influence uh, uh, there for a little while. Um, and there's obviously some sort of cross pollination between the between the two. Um, but I know I just, this is just incredible. I need to listen to this again. I think this is going to be an amazing album. This is going to be absolutely an amazing album. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, there's no, there's no, there's no point trying to pick this apart to talk about sort of individual uh, uh, instruments on here because it doesn't matter. It, everything is being played phenomenally well, uh, beautifully well. Uh, there's. It's just everything works and it comes together to make. And I've, this is a, a word I've used uh, several times to describe sort of bits of music. The, the homogenous, the homogenous, making a homogenous whole. So it, the song is greater than the sum of its parts, um, which is not always the case in music. As you have sort of like a virtuoso guitarist, so everything is about sort of uh, supporting the guitarist or supporting the singer or or something like that. Here, it is not about one member. It's not about the singing. It's not about the guitar. It's not about the drums or the bass or the keyboards. It's about the song. It's about the whole thing. And I just think this is stunning. This is brilliant. <sighs> How exciting. How absolutely bloody brilliant. I'm really, really, really chuffed this has turned up today. I was not expecting that. Um, just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Uh, wow.
I mean, I heard some of the words. I wasn't really listening to them that well because it was, as I said, I was trying to listen to the whole thing. And um, so the fact that I listened to it in English doesn't really matter. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm absolutely, absolutely thrilled by this. Absolutely just brilliant. How, how just fantastic. Look, I'm, I'm babbling. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim over and out.